Hey everyone, I'm Michael Short. Come on, let's go outdoors. So how many bull trout are using Fall Creek to spawn in and why is it important to know that kind of information? It's a question I put to a Alberta Conservation Association biologist who's been working on Fall Creek since 2007. This creek has been on the ACA radar since it was proven some 15 years ago. It plays a significant role as a spawning site for bull trout. Through telemetry work that we did uh, at that time, we actually were able to document that we have bull trout coming from the lower Clearwater, the North Saskatchewan, the Ram River, which Fall Creek is a tributary to, all of them coming up into Fall Creek to spawn. So, just how important is Fall Creek to the overall spawning requirements of bull trout? So, critical is maybe a term that's sometimes a little overused by people in my business, but I really don't think it's a stretch to say that uh, Fall Creek and maintaining its integrity and uh, maintaining access to these migratory bull trout is really critical to maintenance of bull trout in the North Saskatchewan, in the Ram River, um, and kind of tributary streams. So. For almost a century, bull trout have been on a steady retreat from their traditional range further east. These higher mountain streams are fast becoming their final holdouts. So that's why uh, a place like Fall Creek, a place like the Ram system is so important because it is relatively, at least currently, relatively low down in the range for bull trout. You know, so this is a real holdout if you want to look at it that way. Biologists with the ACA are utilizing an innovative approach to determine how many bull trout are making their way into Fall Creek to spawn. So what we have on the creek now, um, it, it's a fish fence. Uh, so really what that is, is it's kind of a conduit fence that we've built across Fall Creek. But all it's really doing is funneling the fish through a, through a box, you know, maybe it's three feet across, something like that. And that's, that's essentially like a, a photo booth for uh, bull trout as they move in and out of Fall Creek to spawn. So they're swimming through this box. We have an underwater camera set up that's continuously recording. Um, at night, we also have it uh, hooked to a light system so that we can still see those fish. And we can literally count the fish as they're moving into and out of the stream. Since this unique camera trap system was established in 2019, about 60 bull trout per season have been recorded going into the creek to spawn. And the beauty of this is because uh, this is quite an intensive project. So, you know, to try and do this annually uh, for extended period of time would just be impractical. We can also count the reds, so the gravel nests that bull trout make. We can count those reds. And uh, if we relate the number of individuals going up the stream to spawn to the number of reds we count, then in the future, all we need to do is do the red count and you can actually get a sense of how many fish are using the stream. So with those kinds of spawning numbers, perhaps there is some reason for optimism for the future of Alberta's provincial fish. Uh, there's, there have been protections put in place on this stream uh, because it has now been documented as a critical bull trout spawning habitat. Uh, there's been, there used to be an OHV trail that literally run up the stream. Um, that has since been closed and uh, there's been a lot of work done to uh, fix a lot of the impact of that on the stream. So those are um, very promising things for the future of bull trout in this area. So about another year remains in this Fall Creek project and by then hopefully the numbers will indicate what kind of a recovery these bull trout will have along this particular stretch of the eastern slopes. Let's hope the news is good because that means that the habitat is improving and that reclamation programs that have been taking place all along this area are also having an impact. Till next time, I'm Michael Short. Come on, let's go outdoors.